khác in the town of Portsmouth in the north northwest part of Dominica where I was staying and I just woke up one morning and looked at a place on the map and I thought well you know I want to go and see some waterfalls so I found it I thought okay well that looks reasonably simple to get to Brandy Falls so let's uh, how do we get there so started at home and went uh, walk downtown uh, the little downtown, quaint little downtown of uh, Portsmouth and then uh, walk down a road called Granby to one mile where you can see the agricultural factory and the unfortunately uh, abandoned coffee factory, best laid plans there's uh, typical vegetation of the island and all of our little friends the Zandoli which I had seen I would say hundreds um, and here we begin. Now, I was just beginning the journey, and at that, this point where I discovered the, the waterfall, I already walked probably about four kilometers from, from Glanvillia in Portsmouth. And even at this point, um, prior to getting here, I had uh, come across a couple of farmers that had just picked a a couple of buckets full of really nice fresh uh, fresh picked pineapples and uh, so I had asked them for some directions and they said well you know you'll be going <laughs> you'll be walking another uh, good distance into the down that road to the farms to uh, to get to where I'm going and that wasn't even the beginning so fortunately um, <clears throat> when I was soaking my feet and eating some of that nice fresh sweet pineapple by the river here uh, and stopped to photograph some of the tropical fish uh, which looked like some kind of tetras I guess um, at that point uh, a farmer was driving by in his old pickup truck and you know he must have been talking to, the, to his friends at the top of the hill and uh, so he, he actually asked if I wanted to ride I said you know sure and uh, I just I grabbed my stuff, grabbed my camera, and put away my pineapple, and put my shoes back on, my sandals, and got into his pickup truck. Um, and we went for a nice long drive down uh, down the old back road to to his farm, where uh, he uh, where he was actually key to my uh, I would say to my survival in this trip. Um, he had given me we had you'll see the farm coming up in some of the videos and so we had walked into the bush at the end of the road where he was farming um, and he had pointed in a in the direction where I was to go and we had, I had walked down the, the ravine to what supposedly was the Indian River but it wasn't much of a river it was more like a little trickle or a creek at that point point. Um, and he just pointed me in the right direction and said uh, you know go that way uh, you know, you said there should be a trail in there somewhere, and so I walked into the bush and just kept looking for this trail. I sure couldn't find one, uh, so um, I just I just kept going in that direction. And uh, his instructions were go up to the top of that ravine, and when you get to the top, go back down, and then eventually you're going to hit a river, and then you're going to want to take a left. But I wasn't really sure because he was pointing with his. Uh, he was pointing with his right hand. Um, so anyway, uh, you'll see later on uh, what exactly happened. So I got there, um, and that was the that was the beginning of the trip. Um, his instructions also were to come back this way, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll see where uh, where we end up on later on in the in the in the video. This is crazy. I cannot believe where I am. Believe where I am. Like I'm in a place that's really far away from looks like anything. There's supposed to be some waterfalls up there. I got a ride in here from an old farmer in a really beat up old pickup truck. And 
Yeah, he just said go that way. There should be a trail. Oh, seeing one. This is pretty. It's a, it's uphill from here. I'll take a little more video as we go. I thought I'll snap this one. This is really far away from what looks like anything. Man, that's gonna be a long fucking road getting out of here too. Jesus. I hope I didn't get myself into a real pickle with this. But uh, there's probably not a lot to see. I'll pan with the with the video, but it's, it's really pretty remote, heavy bush. It was not easy getting in here, so I'm gonna turn this off and keep heading uphill. But yeah, there was a lot of this. Uh, this was the easy part. That's why I decided to videotape this because I could actually carry the camera at the same time as walking, uh, where I didn't have to use my hands all the time. Um, I was sweating. The, the, the forest floor is actually rather, rather slick in most parts because it rains fair, fairly often. Um, and yeah, I just was heading in the, you know, in the direction I was uh, given, which was uphill. Um, eventually, I was going to hit the top of this thing, and then uh, on my way down, that is when I was able to finally hear the, the, the stream down below. Water came after the, after this finding that nice little path. <clears throat> I had already reached the top of the ravine, and uh, I could actually hear it. Oh man, what a relief that was! So uh, the images that we're that are showing now came after after that lovely lovely trip down the hill, which was really steep. And that's wow. why I don't have any video footage of that. Way too steep to, to hold a camera walk at the same time. Well, it's all downhill from here. Oh, I would not have imagined the day would turn out like this. Holy shit. Oh, oh man. Deep in the heart of the rainforest. If I make it out of here, I'd be really surprised. So there's these waterfalls somewhere. They're either behind me or in front of me. But I'm going behind me. I don't want to go any deeper into this mess than I already am. Oh. Lots of lizards, crabs, a few mushrooms. Me. Oh, sweating. I think the water's good here to drink though, so. There's lots of fluid. I'm getting pretty hot. Stop, cool down. Oh. Yep. Well, it's looking a little better.
figured I'd throw this one in. And I was, one of my main fears was actually, uh, I had a fear of overheating. I was like really hot from hopping up all those rocks. But, uh, so so I decided to take a bath and cool down. And you can see with my friend there in the top, uh, top right hand corner, I didn't really care at that point. I was just like, I was pretty hot. So I decided, man, I am taking a dip. I made it. I have no idea how I'm getting out of here. So yeah, I'm here. I made it. This was not easy. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever how I'm getting out of here. So I may have to go back the way I came to find out.
I'm on the farm. This is where I got a ride from the old, the old farmer. And I went straight through there, over the first ravine and down, follow the river up to the falls. This is not an easy trip. So yeah, at that point there was nothing really much else left to do but uh, just start walking. So I walked down, uh, walked down the road. I could see uh, the, the gentleman's name is uh, Skelford. Um, I ran into him later on in town. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll post his full name at the end of the video in the credits. Uh, I had seen his, I had seen his pickup truck, and I just lifted up one of his windshield wipers to let I was no, let him know I was there. And I thought, oh, you know what? So I gave it a, a, a long Tarzan yell, and a reply came back. And I did it again, just a slightly different tone, and a reply came back again. And it wasn't until a couple of days later when I was walking down the... I was, again, in one mile, I was going to go for another bush tour, that I ran into Skelford. And, uh, yeah, that was him. Uh, thankfully, I'll tell you, I could not have made this trip without that guy. It was just one of those fortuitous uh, meetings in, uh, in this island paradise. Unreal. And... Um, yeah, I hope to I hope to see him again. Uh, I'm going to be going back. I'm going to do this trip again for sure. Um, one thing I had I did have left was a bottle of lime and ginger juice that I had got from Jamie at the the restaurant in uh, in Portsmouth before I left. Oh man, I'll tell you, it was a bottle of heaven.